Hi my name is Kamal Ahmed. Today I will tell you about color pencil drawing, which is a very easy technique and its result is very beautiful. So let's get started right away. I have taken an A3 size paper which is taken from a normal sketchbook. And the pencil I have taken is Artist Color Pencil of Kohinoor brand which is a set of 24 pencils. First of all I have done drawing on paper with HB pencil. Correct Correct Pencil is one of the very first mediums that I fell in love with as a full-time artist and lately I've been revisiting my love for them as I export some color so on this video I want to share my top 10 tips for color pencil sketches and show my portrait sketch process as I try some new fun color combos very first thing that I always like to do is to prepare my sanctuary take a moment to prepare your pencils your craft space I now give my pencils in these glass containers and actually sit on the left of my desk now I used to keep them in these portfolio cases but I learned that I'd never use them so now to get my work flowing I always begin by laying everything out because I'll talk if they're not laid out I will not grab them here are some sketches and studies that I've begun and before we begin the next one together let's talk about tip number one who following in the color map out a clean graphite sketch for this you mainly want to focus on lines instead of, of rendering everything with graphite I want to focus on a light sketch with lines so that we can leave the rendering and shading app to the color pencil Here's another example of a sketch vs the car pencil rendering for the specific medium we want to keep the sketch super light in this way the color pencils will show app as bright as possible when you begin drawing on top I like to keep my initial graphite drawing mapping out really nice geometric shapes that I see in the shadows and remember you can always lift app any extra graphite with a meeting eraser just in case you're pressed your heart okay so let's keep falling app this page I think I'm gonna put the next sketch down here when doing color pencil portraits I like to start Start off with a mechanical pencil because it just gives me a little bit more precision and tip number two is a bit obvious but super important paper matters with coat pencil you run a paper that has a lot of attitudes but not too much and they should feel good and sort of glad on the paper yet create a bit of texture so I can see the a carefully or shut up and if I start a color pencil drawings I always use bristle paper I personally lived how smooth it was it's very smooth paper however I've been really liking a slight tooth lately meeting a tiny bit of texture I suggest to think about what paper and you enjoy working on try different options and pay close attention on how the pencil shows app and lays down on the paper these studies are really wanted to explore new color pilots and try something new and you already start thinking about this during the sketch phase one get inspired by color from all sorts of places but this book never fails me I think we may stick to a pink and blue color palette the third step that I found extremely crucial is the way you sharpen your pencil depending on the brand I found that certain color pencils can break the ring sharpen them here's a sharpener that I've been really liking for a color pencil specifically and actually find that using the second hole the larger one actually doesn't break the pencil as I'm drawing I also found that the softer the colored pencil the more it's likely to break in the heart of the pencil the it would tone your canvas and get rid of the white of the paper I'd like to do this fairly lightly and then I pick a color close to the base tone one shade darker and that's what I do to shade in the darker shadows whether you're drawing from a model or you're drawing from references pick photos photos that have a clear highlight and shadow this will bring more dimension to your drawings and it will allow you to assign colors from shadows and highlights which is our tip number five now what do I mean by assigning colors to highlights and shadows in this portrait I assign the red colors to paint the highlights and the cool colors to be the shadows so the oranges peach colors and pinks are the worm use colors for the highlights on the right of the face and then we have our cooler colors for the shadows on the left I actually have a full one hour demo for this portrait specifically app on my patriot so if you're interested in a slow down end app process of me talking about this and creating it together check it out along with a library of collection of real time videos on there as well I start creating your color pencil sketches remember that once you introduce one color in your sketch and in your study you want to introduce it throughout the whole sketch there was a delicate balance per se no speaking of balance or tip number six pay attention to the way that you hold your pencil depending on where you hold the pencil whether it's closer to the edge or not whether it's angled a bit or if you're holding it straight above on a parallel he attention to the kind of line that it makes the more you angle a pencil and the lighter a press on it the softer more textured line you'll have as you sharpen your pencil and angle it more strength the thinner and more precise line you'll get it's also includes 
determines the pressure that you apply in the pencil you want to keep it consistent throughout shading your whole area and I think this really develops throughout most of the memory some excellent exercises to practice this is a value scale run showed from the light to dark on the video where I demonstrate this for a ways to practice here on YouTube but I definitely think this tip plays a huge role especially when it comes to the amount of pressure and line quality apply for each color before I share the next tip as I continue to develop the main based color here is blue I like to use an analogous color or a complementary color for the background and I love watching all the different colors mixed together and the reason this happened so beautifully is because of tip number seven which is to create layers layers this medium itself is a layering medium it does beautifully when you lay your different colors on top of one another with a very light pressure and the beauty about it is it can also blend beautifully if you press a little harder however I've learned that in the very beginning stages it's really beautiful to take your time be patient and create as many layers as possible so as I'm in my process of drawing I'm telling myself more layers will ask detail and this really allows me to build app death substance and gorgeous values and color compose now I also want to note that color pencil takes time and requires lots of patience much of the footage is better however I love to yet in this meditation process swoop myself when I'm doing co-op and says that's just my personally and I did want to mention that because depending on the technique that you take especially when it comes to layering and having a very light pressure on the pencil at first it's great to take your time and just be patient with the pros and accept maybe something that you don't know often however I find it really important to feel air colors as artists color pencils are amazing for developing a bunch of different variations literally the possibilities are endless so hold it into what you feel and the colors that you feel in the moment you can find an overall color palette but also allow things to come in the moment I definitely didn't plan on adding these Torx colors and greens into her hair but in the specific moment I want to add a bit more color and create a connecting variation together if you watch the channel long enough you know that I don't know to say that everything is connected and I like to connect all my sketches together on my page I'm sorry if you're new here you should definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other videos and if you've been vineyard for a while thanks so much for coming back particular mind is one of my holy grails for color pencil I discovered that the best way to lay in a beautiful consistent layer is using this tiny circular motion with the pencil I'd like to alternate with with straight lines sometimes and also this little circular round and motion the combination of these two I find are like chef's kiss when it comes to creating movement texture and soft values throughout my drawing keeping a consistent pressure and moving the pencil in these directions basically I'd like to walk away. It's using this little circular motion with the pencil. I sometimes like to alternate with straight lines and also this circular round and motion. The combination of these two I think are like chef kisses when it's when it comes to creating movement textures and soft values my drawing is to maintain constant pressure and move the pencil in these directions. Basically I want to block my wrist and draw with my wrist instead of my shoulder which you may have seen me mention in other videos as I'm really maintaining that consistency and if I'm I'm really on my schedule, catch me with two pencils in my hand, but he has this after hours of practice. Comes along and gets it into your muscle memory for temperature 10, I want to mention something you can do in case you think something isn't quite right. The way you want it or you think you have it, there is no mistake, but there is a quota code and if you want to fix something I would go in with a creamy or white pencil, you can work hard. And this will allow you to just blend in those areas which will create a thick layer of colored pencil that you can layer on the pop-up. This is great for skin tones and I usually like to do that. Whenever I want to make the final layer of blending I use two of my favorite white pencils that I find to work excellently, one press my color and my hold. Whether I'm sketching or drawing finished pieces I always turn to the page. I really like the overall look of having all these fun colors moving around and to create even more movement I added different colors and added a bunch of diagonal movements, here's how the final page turned out right, guys here's the final result, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed, thank you. your baby girl i'm gonna run my own world to tell me what to do she's some respect just like you should i do it on my own the time me down just like a tie start a fake shit erase so you know i'm more than flesh and bones
hard time Say that I can make it but I hit it on my line I'm a hammer, Scott, stronger, but then I shine Catch me every time I kill her like I did a fucking crime